Oh no, I'm brave. VJ number two. Dots. And um, this is going to be um, a quick video about a quickie. Not about a quickie, but it's going to be a quickie of a video. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to talk to you about some of the embarrassing things I've done because I've done so many. And Gemma was going to talk to you a bit about what a menace he was. So, okay, my turn first. Um, one of the most embarrassing things I've done is when I was in about year 10, maybe 11, I had a bit of a, a, bit of a monobrow. Okay, and don't say I've still got one because that's mean. I might have a little bit. Don't anyway, is a Chelsea football player, Basingua. Look him up. We used to call her Basingua Brow. That's horrible, but it was kind of like that. So, I decided one day, okay, I'm going to wax this mother off. So, you know, I. So I put the wax strip at home. This is at home, by the way. Anyone who wants to do it, don't do it at home. Got a bit of wax in the middle. Pulled it off. Hurt a bit, but I was like, there's still loads of hair there. Did it again, and I couldn't see any difference. And I got really frustrated. And I was like, Ugh! Did it about six times. And I stopped, and I was like, nothing's happened. Five seconds later, this massive red blob, right in the middle of my eyebrows, appeared. Went to school the next day, and then I turned into a scab this massive waxing burn on my face and I could see everyone look at it and I had to go to parents meeting and I could just see the teachers little eyes like what is that but no one had the guts to say anything so my word of advice just don't I'd rather have a monobrow than what I had on my face and a burnt brow exactly you know all right so I was a bit crazy as a child funny I know you probably didn't think that was me um and my sister didn't want to play with me, so I got quite annoyed, went to the bathroom, find anything to get her back with. I think I said water, silver balloon, or just water balloon water. Um, and then I found a bug. I thought, okay, a bug. Um, and, yeah, so I got the bug, went to my other sister, Kelly, who you see in some videos, put it in her mouth but placed it underneath her tongue okay so she was asleep obviously I'm good but I'm not that good to do it while she was awake and then I just waited for mayhem to ensue and it did it was pretty good she she went crazy mental it was hilarious mm -hmm. that's why I got in trouble yep and to this day to this day she's definitely afraid of bugs thanks to me oh thanks to him okay so embarrassing story number two. Um, okay, one of them I can pick is once I was expecting a call from Specsavers, okay, but I didn't know when they were going to call. And the same day I was expecting a call from my friend, shout out to Vinny. So you know, there's um, a call on my phone, it's from an unknown number, and I was like, oh, maybe Vinny's calling from my house phone. I pick it up and I go, yo, because, you know, I think I'm a gangster, obviously. And all of a sudden I just hear on the other side this woman going, oh, um, this is Sally from Specsavers. And I was like, oh god, no, no. <laughs> so embarrassing. So, you know, just no matter how G you think you are, don't answer the phone like that. And I'm done. My other childhood story, Menace Story Part 2, was there was a dog in our old estate in Peckham. And he wasn't very nice. And he was annoying me. So one day I decided to chase him. I chased him through the courtyard. And then when I stopped and we had a stare off, he decided to get his revenge. He came for me. And I mean, he came for me. I was so scared. I ran, but I wasn't fast enough. And he got, he latched onto my jeans. It was so painful. Like, seriously. I remember looking out at the back of I was it. screaming. And, by the way, just in case you didn't know, this dog was about this small. Yeah, like, like a pug. Small. It was tiny. It was a killer pug. And Gimel wasn't Shout much longer. <laughs> Gimel wasn't much bigger. And all I see is Gimel running over the yeah, hill. Yeah, because I was that long. With this a tiny dog, like, at its tail, <laughs> at his trousers, ripping them apart. It was hilarious, but it was so scary. I was, I was really scared. But not hilarious. Was... We're done for today. And I, if you're lucky, I might actually put a picture of me with that waxing burn on my Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. I'll put all the information in the bar down there. Okay? And um, we'll see you next time, guys.